From your most watched, most trusted weather source, here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. We continue to track showers and thunderstorms making their way into several sections of eastern North Carolina, particularly in Greenville. We got a pretty good line moving in now. New Bern is nice and quiet. Havelock is well seen quiet conditions, and that will continue at least for the next couple hours down further south you go. But further off towards North Gum Neck, over towards Columbia, definitely seeing some heavy rain right there along Highway 94, Highway 264 between Stumpy Point and Inglehart, seeing some heavier activity. Williamson also seeing some light to moderate rains. Remember, if you start seeing the yellow and darker reds as you're talking about heavier precipitation beginning to drop down as well. Even over towards Bethel, there goes that one storm moving into western Greenville. Now eventually it's going to be moving through downtown and then eventually ending up on the eastern side of Greenville Boulevard. Winterville also starting to see a few light sprinkles and this extends down into Snow Hill and then eventually uh, looks like southern extreme eastern sections of Wayne County will continue to see some rain and this little feature that's an outflow boundary that can sometimes serve as a miniature cold front to spawn additional showers and thunderstorms. And this is part of a series of thunderstorms generated by a cold front that's going to be moving into the area as we head into tonight and throughout your Labor Day. So as we go over the next 12 hours, storms, temperatures going down from the lower 80s to the lower 70s. We'll have a west southwesterly breeze at around 6 miles an hour. Rain chances around 60 to 70 percent. Now heading out the door going into tomorrow, you're going to be needing the t-shirt and rain jacket yet again. Also the sunglasses and sunscreen as as well as the showers and storms that we're seeing tonight will eventually start to taper off the first round. Secondary round beginning to fire up. Now this could be the round that could again give us some damaging winds and maybe some hail at times, but then eventually it'll start to fizzle out as we head into the morning hours. We start off into the 70s, get up to around 80 degrees by lunchtime, and then by the afternoon we'll see some additional rounds with thunderstorms, some along the coast and a few further inland right along the Highway 264, I-587 corridor. And then looks like going to Tuesday, we're going to start off into the low 60s and then getting up into the 70s by the afternoon. And that's not all. In fact, our rain chances over the next seven days looking to be pretty much uh, isolated to widely scattered across the board. So we'll have some pretty good chances of rain as we are tracking a lot of atmospheric moisture beginning to set up. So something just to keep an eye on as we go over the coming days, but at least as we take a look at your eight day forecast temperatures will be into the mid 80s, 84 degrees going into Labor Day, 83 as we head into Tuesday. And then it looks like temperatures, believe it or not, could drop down briefly into the upper 70s to around 80 with overnight lows into the 60s. So we're definitely getting some fall weather, but we got to deal with some raindrops as well. Definitely seems like, yeah, this fall weather is coming. A good break from the 90s and the, the high heat we saw last week. Yeah, it was getting a little bit hot there. We had uh, 95, 96 yeah. degree temperatures, heat index values as high as 105. Now we're starting to see, looks like uh, some more permittable weather for yeah. many of us. I'm ready for it. Thanks, Russell. Thank you.